In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the gradient of a straight line. So when going up a ramp, the gradient is positive. When going down a ramp, the gradient is negative. The gradient is the same as the slope. And so the gradient is equal to the rise divided by the run. The slope is the same thing. It's the rise over the run. It's the change in y divided by the change in x. So to calculate the gradient for the first triangle on the left, we have a rise of positive 3 and a run of positive 2 because we're going up along the y-axis and towards the right along the x-axis. So the gradient for this particular triangle, it's going to be 3 over 2. And it's positive because we're going up. It's negative when going down. Now for the triangle on the right, we're going down 6 units, so that's negative. But we're moving 3 units to the right, so that's positive. So the gradient is going to be negative 6 divided by 3. And so we have a gradient of negative 2. As mentioned before, it's negative because we're going down. And notice that this particular triangle is more steep. If we have a larger number that is not taking into account the sign, the larger the gradient, the more steep the hill, or in this case, the triangle is going to be. The smaller the gradient, the less steep the slope is. Now, let's work on an example problem. What is the gradient between these two points? So what is, let's connect these two points with a line. What is the gradient of the line connecting points P1 and P2? Feel free to pause the video and work on this example problem. Well, first we need to identify the points on this graph. P1 is located at an X value of one and a Y value of negative three. P2 is located at an X value of three and a Y value of three. Next, let's uh, turn this into a triangle and then we can calculate the rise and the run. So notice that the run goes from one to three. So we're traveling two units along the X axis and the rise goes from negative three to three so if we were to subtract the top number minus the bottom number, this becomes 3 plus 3. So that's a rise of 6. So to calculate the gradient, it's going to be the rise divided by the run. And so this gives us a value of 3. So that's the slope or the gradient of the line between points P1 and P2. Here's another example that you can practice on. Feel free to pause the video if you want to try it. So calculate the gradient or the slope between points P1 and P2. And each tick mark represents one unit. So let's identify point P1 and P2. P2 is located at an X value of two and a Y value of negative four. P1 is located at an X value of negative four and a Y value of five. So let's turn this into a right triangle. Now, how many units do we need to go down along this right triangle? Well, we need to go from five to negative four. So if we take the second number, negative four, and subtract it by five, that is by positive five, this will give us negative nine. So we're going down nine units to go from five to negative four. Now, how many units do we need to travel to the right? So we're going from an X value of negative four to another X value of two. So if we take the second number, positive two, and subtract it by the first number, negative four, this becomes two minus negative four. And whenever you see two negative numbers next to each other, you can make it a positive number. So this is the same as two plus four, which is six. So we're traveling six units to the right. So now we can calculate the gradient, which is the rise divided by the run. 
So the rise is negative because we're going down. So that's negative 9. The run is 6. So the answer is negative 9 over 6. Nevertheless, we can reduce this fraction. Negative 9 is negative 3 times 3. 6 is 2 times 3. And so we could cancel a 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, giving us a gradient of negative 3 over 2. So this right here is the answer. So now you know how to calculate the gradient or the slope of a straight line.